What is Dan's, Dan Howell's favorite? Oh my gosh. I will figure this out for you. Give me one moment. Hey guys, it's Kay, and I, I don't know if you can hear the fan in the background. That's just gonna be there. Um, cause it is, it is hot in here. Also, if you can't tell, we are in a new location. This is my apartment. Also, I just showered, so I might look kind of weird. Plus, like, wet hair. I did that and got so much water on my glasses. Okay. So, this story is going to be a story time. It's a Halloween story time. I know Halloween's past and it's almost Christmas. But, like, here's the thing. I want to produce content for you guys, but after I put my SD card into my camera and or into my computer and go through the videos it looks like half of them just stop in the middle so I'm gonna do this one and then I'm gonna try to redo all the ones that I've planned maybe plus a house tour might be coming soon if I can get this place cleaned up because yeah I, I did get a new apartment and it's fantastic it's amazing um, I mean it's it's just an apartment but my roommate's amazing, everything is so great about it, and I love it. This story time is going to be the time four of my friends and I? Four of my friends and I almost died on Halloween night. So you know how like when you're a kid, you go trick or treat and you get all dressed up and you're so excited and you're like, I'm gonna get candy. I love me some candy, right? Cause like, that's what kids are all about. They want candy, okay. I say this like I was like five. It wasn't too long ago, let's be real. My friends were all really into cosplay, and I was not about to have that. So I made myself a shirt. I might actually still have it somewhere. But I did a team outfit. I wanna say like a couple's outfit, but like, nah. Just like a, like a two-person team, we'll say, outfit of our favorite YouTubers at the time, Dan and Phil. They're amazing. If you haven't heard of them, go watch them. Anyway, they the rest of them make cosplay outfits, and I was like, I'm not gonna do that. Like, I'm just gonna go as whatever I wanna do. And then I was like, I could be Dan. So, of course, I went as Dan, and I made the shirt, and it was like supposed to be the Oculus shirt that he has. It's not an Oculus shirt, is it? Hey Siri, what is Dan's famous black hoodie? Y'all have to know what I'm talking about. It's a black hoodie with a white circle in the middle. Eclipse! Am I that stupid? His Eclipse hoodie! That's what I made. I can't believe it took me almost a solid minute to figure that out. And on the back it said, If lost, return to Phil. And my friend went as Phil. So she... I don't think she did anything with the front. The back said, If lost, return to Dan. Let me just say, I came up with this idea and I was super proud of it at the time. This is all very irrelevant from the story, by the way. So we're gonna get into that now. So the story basically takes place Halloween night and we were trick-or-treating and we went to a bunch of houses in one of the friend's neighborhoods because she lives in like the rich, rich neighborhood. We decided towards the end that we were gonna just loop back to her house, right? So we were going down the street next to hers and three or four teenage boys pull up in their car. By teenage, like, I don't mean like age I was teenage, I mean like 19. So like they were big to us. Like we were, I have no clue how old we were. I wanna say 15, 16. So they pull up in their car. We couldn't see much of them at all, but they were laughing. And they pull something out from like by the door and they point it at us and it looks just like a gun. And we all stopped dead in our tracks, looked at each other. And you're like in that moment you love to be like, yo, I am the big person, man. I'm gonna run and all that or you'd fight back. It's not like that in the moment. In the moment, you are stunned. We all just looked at each other for a solid minute. And then we looked back at the car. And they still had this gun pointed at us. And none of us could think to do a single thing. We even later talked about it. The conversation was shut down super quick. We never talked about it after that. Which is still super weird to me. But anyways, back to the story. So he pointed at us and he fired it three times. We just looked at each other like, we're gonna die. We're all gonna die together, right here, right now. Like, on this sidewalk, Halloween night, our families are never gonna see us again, right? So panic started to set in, he shot, he shot it three times. It made a noise, but I wanna say it was like blanks or something. Nothing ever hit us. So, you know, 
normally you'd be thinking like BB gun, right? Where were the BBs? Like nothing hit anywhere around us or us. He was firing it directly at us. And we were like, okay, like, what just happened? Uh, the car, they started laughing and they drove off again. Like, sped off. I was the one that was like, yo, what just happened? Like, is anyone hurt? And they all said no. Nothing, nothing hit anywhere. Nothing hit any of us, nothing hit the ground, nothing hit anything behind us. We were like against a wall, a concrete wall. So like if something's gonna hit the wall, you're gonna hear it bounce off. Or like go through or whatever, you know, you're gonna hear it at the wall. None of us heard a single thing. The walk back to her house was so silent. Like I'm not kidding, not a single word was said. We got back to her house. She said, don't tell my mom. We let all the candy out. And we, you know, picked and chose the candies and we sold them off to each other for other pieces of candy. <laughs> As typical kids do. It was never brought up after that. And every now and then I'm like, we all could have died. None of us did anything. You know what I mean? No one said a single word to these guys. No one said anything to her parents. I eventually told my parents. I did. Um, because I was that freaked out and I was like, I don't know what to do. It was crazy. And like, this is part to just tell my story. And the other part's like, watch out for your kids. Have a relationship with your kids where like, if something like that happens, they can tell you. Because we could have never seen our families again. And like, she was the only one that lived in that neighborhood. So none of our parents would have really known, other than hers, if they decided to drive a street over. If something had gone wrong. But like, it was terrifying. It was very terrifying. So yeah, there you have that. Watch out for your kids. Be safe on Halloween. Every other day? I mean, be safe in general. But like, if you find yourself in a situation like that, do something. I know it's so easy to say, right? And as I said, in the moment, you freeze. You can't think of a single thing to do. And you're like, this could be it. This could definitely be it. You don't move. You just freeze. It's almost like stage fright, right? Like a deer caught in headlights and you're like, but yeah, I mean, there's, there's nothing you could think to do. But you have to be able to train yourself to think on the spot. Because if you don't, that could easily be the end. And that's not something y'all want to go through. I know that. Be careful. Train yourself. I mean, don't, don't go out and seek getting almost shot just to train yourself. Find a safe way, like read books and stuff about what to do and like take criminal self, take self-defense classes. I can't speak today, okay? Bear with me. Anyway, many, many, many more videos will be coming very soon. I'm sorry I keep taking breaks. School has been stressful. College is not fun, nor is moving, <laughs> and I've done all of those in the span of when I stopped filming and now, and I even have a ton of videos on my phone that are like, ready to go, and I haven't done any of them. Yeah, okay, by the way, I do have a sponsor, so I'm gonna put all the links down below for those. There's Just Strong, Astoria Active Wear, Neem Fit Gym, and... Momentary pause. I haven't posted anything for you guys on Insta either. Wow, I am sorry. I am horrible at this. Lansine! Lansin? Lansine? I don't know how to say it. So, those will all be down below in the comments. Uh, discounts range from like 10% to 40%, so keep an eye out on those and help your girl out. She needs it. <laughs> um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.